So today's video is going to be let's talk about part one and part two of the beauty world of Jeffree Star. I've watched parts one and part two. Thought I'd put them both in a video because part one was sort of more an establishing part. Like it was just establishing the series so I thought it would just be easier to put them both into a video. And also not making it boring by just sort of having one ep part dedicated to that one part looks quite boring. Part one was interesting but part two was so much more interesting. Not that I'm a Jeffree Star fan. Did not even know about him until a little while ago. I'm a fan of Shane Dawson. As in I like his videos. I liked how he made that video on taking accountability. But I can't lie, Jeffree Star's makeup is so good. He is an entertaining person to watch. I don't like him flexing, obviously. I think that's abundantly clear. And I liked how Shane Dawson talked about what's been going on in his life and what his insecurities are. I would love to see someone do a documentary on Shane Dawson but in the <coughs> style of Shane Dawson. Because I like watching him and I like his videos because he's so fascinating to watch. I like how he talked about his anxiety and how he had a fear of flying and also what he was hoping will come out of the series. It is good how he's talked about compared to other YouTubers he's not making the money they're making rather than going I'm broke but I'm sitting in a mansion. Definitely that is a better way to put it because people are kind of bored of the broke jokes. The fear of flying was good to see him talk about it because it's hard to talk about something you're afraid of, something that makes you feel anxious, because you might feel silly or feel like people think that's not a real fear. It's kind of relatable because I have a couple of fears that to people are quite silly, like I am afraid of dogs, I have a phobia of dogs, and I'm a metaphobic, which is basically the fear of sick. So it was interesting to watch. To be honest, I'd never travel in a private jet because I prefer to fly with like well known airlines that have a good reputation. Like, and you do see so many stories on the news, so I don't know how he did it. It's interesting to see how he goes more into depth of what goes on in the beauty world. To be honest in this part it touched on the beauty community but we're not quite getting into the drama just yet. It's interesting because there are sides to the beauty community which are not normally shown, they're kept more of a secret. Moving on to the next part, part 2, the second part. I found this episode so fascinating to watch. It's interesting to see what makes Jeffree Star's makeup company so successful. Shane Dawson series really pushed people who are either on the fence about supporting Jeffree Star to either I support Jeffree Star or I don't support Jeffree Star. I don't support Jeffree Star but there again I don't know much about him but his palettes look good. So, that's the tea. Interesting to see the process of his makeup palettes and the looks they create with his makeup palettes. It was big, like it was bigger than you could ever imagine. The maths was also interesting in how they used blood sugar palette as an example. It's interesting to see the profit on one palette that goes into Jeffree Star's bank account, something like it was 20 million dollars, which is a lot of money, which does not surprise me because he is a multi-millionaire, like, he has like, 
so many subscribers on YouTube. Lately, it's GDF is uh, 16.3 million subscribers on YouTube. So, there's like so much money and. So, doesn't surprise me. It's also worth so much money. But there again, the makeup industry has lots of money to be made. There are obviously so many successful makeup owners. But it didn't really come to shock seeing $20 million on one makeup release. The meeting with Shane was interesting because he was talking about numbers and how much one of his palettes cost to make. That includes the palette itself, the packaging, the components that's put into the palette, all the different shades, and pressing the shades, and shipping of everything. I thought it was a lot of money just to make one makeup palette and I've never thought into it. But it's probably not that high cost for every single makeup palette because that was like a custom made makeup palette and custom shades. There are probably more bog standard packagings that Jeffree Star does, like more bog standard ones, like they definitely are. Probably most of the money spent on making the blood sugar palette was on making the shades because I saw some swatches and they look amazing also the packaging because there's so much integral detail put into the palette it was interesting to see how much it costs to make other Jeffree Star makeup products like it'd be interesting to find out so it's good to hear about the business side of makeup other than just the drama side. <coughs> it's also interesting to see how much a Jeffree Star palette costs. It's also interesting to hear the cut that Shane Dawson would get from the makeup palette and also from the merch. It's crazy how much money there is made on merch because I've never done much. I don't have nearly enough subscribers to make merch and how the people that Jeffree Star makes merch with how they get 17 how he gets 30 surprises me also touching on content creators value is interesting and how I've never known about it because I am like a tiny, tiny, tiny creator on YouTube. Like my current subscriber count is so small. Like 18 subscribers is what I've got on my channel. So also seeing that how creators don't always know their worth and how brands don't always pay them what they're worth it's interesting because I've never known much about that side like I know a little bit because obviously people talk about it so I'm not completely uneducated but I don't know like loads and loads because I've like never been in that part of YouTube like and Jane talks about how nobody's told him he's worth that money and he deserves to make that amount of money Shane says he could have made more money but he didn't stand up and say this is the amount of money I deserve I know there's the whole debate of YouTubers shouldn't earn as much as they earn but I'm not going to get into that debate or YouTubers make too much money but there are definitely some that make too much money for the content they're creating but it is unfair when influencers like Nikki Tutorials as Jeffree Star mentioned it's not fair for Nikki Tutorials to have only made fifty thousand dollars which two people that don't do it is a lot of money but when 
she only made like fifty thousand dollars and Two Face made ten million dollars. There needs to be a balance that makes it fair. And that's definitely something I'm pleased that was touched on. Because I've obviously heard some things, but it's like nice to hear it talked about. Interesting to see them come up with the shape names because there were some interesting shape names they were come up with. Also, Shane would pull out things for inspiration that gave him inspiration for those shape names. It was just an interesting process to watch. I've never ever seen behind the scenes of a makeup palette because usually you just go to the shop, see the finished makeup product. To be fair, there's nothing I hate so far about this series. I'm very much enjoying it. But I think the next episode there could be more drama, so I'm excited to see. But I'm not going to make predictions of what's to come. I'm just going to watch it, give my thoughts, and that's where we're going to be. It's definitely showing a different side to Jeffree Star and giving him a more rounded side other than just the drama you hear about. I'm excited to see what the other parts have to bring so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!